Okay, this is part two on the John Deere X475. So you can see some progress was made since the last video. The engine is pretty much like kind of tore apart. Um, so I figured out what the problem is. It's a simple problem. I ordered the part last night. Just as simple as a blowing up head gasket. So you can see right there that... Uh, yeah, something weird happened where the head gasket blew and since coolant surrounds the cylinder, coolant would just leak through the through the head gasket down in the cylinder and then it probably didn't didn't take much after that for it to seep down through the rings and then into the oil. And uh yeah, that's definitely the problem. So I ordered a new head gasket. It was like 37 bucks for one head gasket, kind of a lot, but I guess it's what it is. Um, I didn't order a fuel pump yet because this one on it, I wanted to make sure it was actually bad and not just the wiring because it's like 80 bucks for that. So I wanted to just make sure that wasn't buying it for nothing. And something else that I realized that if you see underneath here, um, it has the bypass switch that uh, cuts off the Hydraulic cylinder for the three-point slash uh, more deck lift when you want to use the hydraulic ports on the side And that's an optional like $200 part that you can buy from like John Deere sells them And I have this part here that goes in place of it if you don't want it So I'm actually going to be putting this on it because I don't need that on here Because I actually need it on my x595 with the loader Because what I'm currently doing on that is I turn the three point, uh, there's an adjustment right here for the three point. I turn that all the way up and I set the more deck lift as high as it can go, which does work. It just puts a ton of stress on all the linkages and stuff and that uh, rear cylinder. So having that, I can actually do it right. So that'll be one of my next projects is putting that on and then uh, drain the oil because it's going to need new oil. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, basically, I'm going to do that stuff and then uh, come back once I get some progress on things. I might pull that fuel tank off and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got that lockout valve that I was just talking about taken off. So you can see that part I was showing you that's now installed. And I also put the lockout valve on the loader. So there's the one off the X595 with the loader. So my next project here is to drain the oil. And I kind of feel bad doing this, actually, because it's, you know, brand new oil, basically. But it's kind of just what it is, because oil is junk, because it's got, like, coolant in it and water and all kinds of stuff. So all I have is this adjustable wrench. I don't have a metric wrench that's big enough, so this seems to be working. It's starting to come off. If I can... There we go. Curious to see what this is going to look like if it's... Well, I showed you before what it looked like in the dipstick, so hopefully it won't come out like a... Oh, you can see that. That is nasty. Yeah, oil's not supposed to look like that. So, well, that's draining, and none of it's going on the floor at least, so that's good. Move that forward a little bit. So while that's draining, I'm actually going to pull the fuel tank which is just these two bolts, one there, one there, and just uh, pop these little clips here off that holds all these wires and stuff in place. And then uh, what's stupid is I should have pulled the tank off when I pressure washed this yesterday because I'm going to have to pressure wash it again because uh, there's still going to be all kinds of dirt and grime under there. And while I'm in here, I'm going to add two shims to the, uh, the hydro there, or the transmission to increase the hydraulic pressure so i'm going to have a three point on here just to give it a little bit more power i put four shims on my other one so i figured i'll just just put two on here just to make it a little bit better just because i'm in here and i have plenty of extra shims so i'm going to pull that tank off and i will come back to you once i have that tank off okay so oil is done draining i ended up putting my uh vacuum cleaner right there uh on the the drain port 
as it was just barely starting to drip out so I could just suck all that water out of there, make sure everything was completely out. I'll end up running it for a little bit and then eventually uh, I'll change it again because you can't get it all out. So, got of course the fuel tank off. I sprayed some uh, WD on these two little uh, pins the hydro release pushes on just to make them move a little bit easier. Probably can set this jack down now. So one of my next projects here is uh, I'm actually going to get everything here pressure washed again because didn't pull the fuel tank off before so I got to do that again. And then I'm going to put some shims possibly down in there. I'll see how many is currently in there. And then uh, I'll possibly put some in there if it has if it has two or three already, I'm not going to add them. If it doesn't have any, then I'll add a couple of them. Maximum you can put in there is four, but we'll see. Um, I got some parts taken off of the fenders, so then that way they can get uh, like buffed and uh, try to make them look nice. So I got all that stuff off. Them are going to get pressure washed. The like floorboards are going to get pressure washed. Hood, I guess actually all these other parts here are going to. So I'm going to get a bunch of that stuff done and okay so making some progress on it buffing the hood right now you can see how much of a difference it's making so that's getting done uh, fuel pump decided to start working um, I would turn it on and have you hear it uh, listen to it but you can't hear it right now so uh, you just have to take my word for it at the moment um, Got the tire off because it the front tire leaks. The rim is just so rusty it's leaking through the rim. So I'll just get a tube for it and just uh, fix it with a new tube. I'm working on taking the seat off because I'm going to get a new seat for it. This thing is just too nasty to try to put on here and make it look nice with this seat. So taking that off and I realized it is missing the springs. So it's supposed to be like that but instead it's like that. So. I'll either get a new base for it or some new springs. I might actually have some. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get a few more things done on this and I will come back once I get that done. Okay, made some progress on it. So you can see the frame has been painted. So that's, that's done. I, I'm really happy with how that's turning out. The tire is still off. And right now the rim right there is getting... Uh, some holes that are in it welded back together and then it's going to get tubed i went to the store and bought of course a tube for that a new seat which i was looking at one online for about 30 dollars more expensive than this one was and i happened to find this one in a box so that was a interesting find never seen a seat in a box before and i got some uh john deere yellow for the front rims Went and got just a normal lawnmower battery that it's supposed to have for the battery. So I showed you the last part I had the camera on, or the top of the hood being buffed. Hood is all nice and done. Nice and shiny now. Still gotta paint the floorboards since they're metal. They kind of got some rust on them, so has to get painted. It's no big deal, just tape off the center sticker there and just hit them with some green. And then the fenders that got buffed too. Them turned out really nice, I'm happy with them. That sticker that was on the back came off like nice and clean in one piece. And uh, of course the rear lights, them were all foggy and hazy. Uh, them cleaned up pretty nice. So I'm actually gonna get a few more things here done. Probably uh, get that other tire on and get some more stuff probably cleaned up, get ready to put back on. Oh, actually I also I took the seat off the old bracket and I also painted the firewall and the muffler had a crack in it so that was welded you see there so that's fixed but um, I'm going to get a few more things here done like I was saying and and I will turn the camera back on when I get some progress all right got a few things done since last time the camera was on of course the last time I showed it to you the frame was painted that front tire is now fixed and is now holding air, so that's nice. Uh, I got some uh, them like little mesh pieces. I don't know. 
uh, painted. Then go in the plastic parts there just to uh, cover up the side here by the radiators and stuff. Painted those. My next project is to get these uh, floorboards ready for paint and paint them. I will have to tape off that uh, sticker there. So I'm going to get that painted and get a few more things here done and I will come back once as I make some progress. Okay, got some more progress here. Front tears are off for the second time. They're painted. I'll show you that in a minute. I uh, got some of the, the panels there I was showing you uh, earlier on in the video put on. Them look pretty nice. Since the hour gauge uh, doesn't work, I replaced it with one of them, them cheap ones that just wrap around the spark plug. So I got the wire fed through and that just wraps around the spark plug wire. And when uh, if anybody ever buys one of these type of gauges, uh, don't put the wire right next to any other electrical wire because it'll interfere with the electrical stuff. Because um, it goes, it measures the electrical or uh, electricity going through the spark plug wire. So that gauge is throw, showing 3.2 hours. That's just because it was pulled off another machine. And uh, that's that's probably about how many hours are on this engine since it's basically brand new. Uh, right here is the rims. They're not great at all, but... They're painted. I don't know why they're looking orange on camera, but they're John Deere yellow. And then over here is the floorboards. Painted these earlier and they're just about perfectly dry to put on. So another thing is I got the front of the grill put back in the hood. Uh, the hood was uh, waxed, so you can see that it's very shiny now compared to what it was. So that looks much better and then the headlights were also buffed so them are actually out very clear now i'm they actually kind of look like new um the process of making a metal piece for the bottom at the moment otherwise uh, i'm gonna probably get the floor uh floorboards on the fenders possibly the front tires and i will come back once as that stuff is on okay so i got the fenders floorboards and seat on like i was kind of mentioning i was gonna and I decided to just put the hood on there just to kind of show what it looks like. And wow, this thing looks so nice. I do have that front uh, uh, piece there made. And that's uh, painted green. Uh, it's drying right now. It's just made out of sheet metal. Everything seemed to turn out pretty nice. The hood's just sitting on there, so don't want to make it fall off. So I already showed you the hour gauge. That's just two-sided taped on. So that's it for this video. Um, the next video, I think I'm going to show the engine getting put back together. And then I think we'll actually have it running in the next video. So yeah, um, that's it. Thanks for watching.